Hi, it's Bumbleberry, and Linda wants to hang out again. Oh, Ari, you came to see me. Oh, I'm so happy. People in town are taking the time to listen to my songs more. It's all because of you, Coach. I don't know how to thank you. Um, Ari, who's this woman? Oh, you must be Linda, the girl everyone in town is talking about. I haven't used these accents in a while. Wow. Yes, that's me. Glad to meet you. Linda, a singer. You, Linda, I order you not to get needlessly close to my servant. Jealous. What? Who's this coach? She's got an attitude problem. See? The lady here is Princess Marlene. Oh, is she? I will say it once again, Linda. <laughs> I shall not permit you to speak needlessly with my servant. By servant, do you mean coach? How dare you? Don't you dare call him that. Coach, you're okay with that, but coach, you know you're better than that. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> well, that's just the way it is. Just because you are the princess, I don't believe you have the right to treat someone as nice as the coach. I mean, Ari. Like a servant. At least she uses my name. Humph, as if you should know. What do you know about Ari anyway? Hey, she used my name. Well, what do you know about that man, huh, princess? I had Ari give me encouragement and training so much that you don't know how deeply we were involved with each other. Whoa. Oh, really? Well, I had his mother teach me cooking at his house. So there. Pr princess! <laughs> Rosalind is, like, so scandalized, and I'm the closest to her out of all of them. Oh, I see. But it was Coach who wrote the words to my song, wasn't it, Coach? Well, then, I suppose I have... <laughs> you just get all the accents. Well, then, I suppose I have no choice but to tell you this. It was he who rushed into my arms when we met for the first time. That is why he has become my servant. Is that so? Well, I don't mind if he flirts a little. Oh, my gosh. Especially with a princess, right? Cash cow. Yeah. Anyway, it's destiny. Ari and I were meant to be for each other. Oh, this loving touch of Ari. As he laid his hand softly on my shoulder as I stood that lonely street corner. Uh, did I do that? I'll never forget it for as long as I live. Oh my gosh. My love for Ari transcends that of a certain highbrow individual who calls him a servant. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have to stream this now. It must be done. <laughs> so, for those of you who are unaware, I am hanging out with the princess and enjoying my life. And it's perfect because now they're fighting over me and I love it. I love it. So Linda and uh, Marlene here are fighting over my existence and my love. And Linda says that we like brought her up from the tragicness of her former life and, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, we'll figure that out. My love for Ari transcends that of a certain highbrow individual who calls him a servant. Oh, oh, she's so mad. Uh, um, princess? I, I do not understand it. Are you nincompoop? You, you play or I'm going home. I guess she does get mad if we flirt, but Linda doesn't. Princess, wait. <laughs> oh, love is a battlefield. You sneaky game, you. Well, hopefully everything turns out okay. Uh-oh, Rosalind's hanging out with her. So Marlene is just tragically depressed that we like Linda. Or I guess that Linda likes us, because we have done nothing to any of the people here. <laughs> All right. Oh, Ari, the princess has locked herself in this room and won't come out. Yes, well, you already know, don't you? 
Yes, I think you know. I mean, you're our number one gal, Rosalind. It's okay. It's tough, isn't it? Both for the princess and Ari? Oh, I remember when Baban, Henry, and I were training to defeat monsters at the Heroes University. The warrior and the wizard both fell in love with me. Of course they did. I was unable to return either of their affections. <gasps> Are you okay? <laughs> oh? So, anyway, good luck, Gary. What? 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 Think carefully before you choose. Um, okay. If you make the wrong decision, you'll regret it forever. Oh my gosh, no pressure. But no pressure, okay? Look after the princess for me and, uh... Um, thank you, excuse me. I'm gonna use my shadow powers to sneak under here. Madam? That will be enough, Rosalind. I do not wish to talk. Can I talk to you for a minute, please, princess? Ari? Is that you, Ari? She's gonna be like, I hate you, never talk to me again. I was unexpecting this. <gasps> the music box song. I apologize for what happened, but please, you must leave me alone for now. I do not know what I might say to you if I were to see you. Oh, you love us, don't you? You've fallen for your slave. Am I acting strange? Am I so selfish and rude and unlike that girl named Linda? I am not so sweet. All I do is boss you around and cause trouble, and I cannot even fight. That's okay, you have a nice dress. And I'm sorry, Ari, but I would like to be left alone. I cannot figure myself out right now. I need to understand why I feel this way. Tomorrow, I will try to act as proud as I usually am, but please, leave me to myself for today. Oh, don't leave her alone, Ari. Well, I guess, I mean, you can leave her alone for a little bit, but maybe, like, come back in an hour with a snack. Because I know I always appreciate a snack after a really rough, rough day. Okay. Please come again. He's like, you are the most dramatic person ever. I'm gonna switch. I actually love Red Big Bull, whatever his face is. But he's actually weak against all of the other stuff. Oh, whoops, no. And how are you all today? Everything good? Everything cool? Ah, uh, certainly hope so, because we're gonna go fight crime. Get just- what? What is happening? Oh, Linda, you're so adorable. Linda, you're so cute. You're the best. Linda! <gasps> Linda, you're so hot. Everyone's wearing purple and is obsessed with Linda. Um, I don't know what happened. Was my advice that good? Is that what happened? Also, did you guys know there was like a secret window over here? And there's a side quest with ciphertext I was doing while I was off camera. And uh, if you knock three times after you've started the cipher quest thing, then you can win the universe. And, uh, oh, you want me to, oh, okay, okay, all right, this town is weird. Wasn't I supposed to go back into the, like, the snowfield and stuff, or, I don't know, let's check in with Maggie, our homegirl, our gang, follower. See what she's up to. What's up, girl? Oh my gosh, the cat looked like a doll. I just watched that horror movie, The Boy. <laughs> like, I thought that was what was happening. Oh my gosh, what is with this popular teen idol? Exactly. I didn't know that simple earnest promo activities were so effective. This is strange. I concur. Meow meow. Why does an innocent cat have to be involved? I just don't know. Oh my gosh, her dad is ridiculous. Now a man silent tears, petals blowing in the wind. Now that's what I call a song. <laughs> it's sung by Maestro Shikui Iwa. Born out of 15 years of a hard man's... What? 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 Just... Oh my gosh. You need to calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. That's okay. We'll let you chill with all your stuff. I'm gonna go fight the universe. Oh, but the ciphertext things. Yeah, so if you talk to the mayor or the elder in your main town, which I thought was impossible, but apparently there's actually a door. I just needed to rotate my camera so that I could see it. There's a door on the first floor you can talk to him. And there's like a secret society of like puzzle solvers. So you just have to like talk to the right person. And one was the secret window of doom. Hello, Mr. Eyepatch. He's not wearing purple. But, oh geez, everyone wants to sing with her sweet sorrow something. I don't even, I just, okay. Where did she go? 
Oh no! <laughs> Even this little boy is crying. Oh Linda, I'm so hot for you. So, so, so hot, but... <gasps> oh Linda! You need to calm yourself. This is like not a concert that you can throw yourself at her. I am thus enthused about Linda as the inevitable result of an exquisitely intertwined sense of the aesthetic disease <laughs> desires, I was about to say disease, an illusion to be with one another. I do not have a case of feverish love. What I'm trying to say is this. Oh, Linda, you're so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is precisely it. There is no inaccuracy in my carefully drawn conclusion. Come, let me scream. Oh, Linda, you're so hot. How does Miss Madrid feel about this? Usurping of her throne. Oh, where is my Prince Charming? You don't care. Oh, it's because Linda. Linda has stolen your man. Oh, Linda, you're the best, a perfect beauty that even a woman falls in love with. Yes, Linda's so hot. All right, this game's got it going on. What can I say? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go fight the things. It'll be great. Where are we supposed to go? People of Majud seem to have changed. Slave, investigate. Oh, I guess I have to investigate. What's up? Oh, sweet angel Linda. I hope you don't mind that I formed your club without your permission. You should understand my heart. Oh, my sweet baby. Won't you give this rock and roller your <laughs> sweet kiss? You are gross. But I will accept it. So do I just have to stay in town and hang out with all these weirdo groupies? Are all the guys in purple lab coats now? Oh, <gasps> what is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All together now. Oh, Linda. All together now. Oh, Linda. L-O-V-E. Lovely Linda. Mm, the best, strongest evil king. <gasps> evil king? What? Did he say something? Hey, slave, did the guy say something? Yes, he did. Um, oh, I can never count on you. You call yourself my slave. You need to have a little bit of enthusiasm, Ari, crazy kid. You, porky hoofed woman. You heard it, didn't you? But porky... Anyway, yes, I did hear him. He said the best, strongest evil king. Let's hear him again. You, random Linda fan, tell me again what you said. L-O-V-E, lovely Ninda, mmm, the absolutely best super teen idol, the best, strongest, angelic, evil king. Well, he said it. Clearly, he said it. No mistake. But that adorable girl, it can't be. It can't be, but... Hey, Professor Crackpot and Batwoman, just what do you think you're thinking? That fawn couldn't possibly be an evil king. No evil king would cry about the stupid things she cries about. She doesn't even qualify as a fake evil king. Evil kings are proud, beautiful, and strong. True. Now that you mention it, it's hard to believe that she's an evil king. You're right. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. Well, of course, there can't be an evil king like her. Linda. She's not even an evil king and she's got horns. <gasps> I'm jealous. <laughs> Stan is the best. He's my favorite evil king. Huh? Did you say something? I said that I want horns too. If I had horns, humans would be a little more afraid of me. Uh, <laughs> she's like so annoyed. <laughs> if you put horns on, you'd be a cow. A cow. Look, an evil king that looks like a cow. How uncool is that? Oh, shut up, your broken lid of a porky casserole. <gasps> porky again? Oh, she's so sad. Hmm, that Linda girl. What is she going to do, providing dreams to humans? Why isn't she providing despair and pushing humans off into a black abyss? Good question. Where are her evil king priorities? Looks like she needs more coaching. <laughs> you slave, go to Linda. I will train her so hot. I mean, so hard. <laughs> Even Stan's getting a little bit of the love bug. Mmm. He just can't deny. He just can't deny any of that love. That's okay. We'll go confront Linda. It'll be good. Hello. So now what do I do? Where do I find her? Are you gonna be over here, Linda? There you are, Linda. You're over by the train station, girl. Mmm. What do you have to say? 
<laughs> Due to Linda being so hot, we can't presently use Madrill Station. Please understand Linda's hot circumstances. Because she's so hot, the railroad is Linda, and so hot is Linda. <laughs> Linda! Um, I'm concerned. What's going on, girlfriend? Or non-girlfriend, who made my other girlfriend cry. Oh, I did you take a look outside? The townsfolk have finally become my fans! Everyone is now obsessed with me! I did it, coach! Excuse me, Linda. But I think the town folk are acting kind of strange. I know, that's okay. Everyone's all brainwashed and happy. <laughs> are you by any chance? Yes, I'm an evil king. I'm thinking of calling myself of calling myself Teen Idol Evil King. So proud. My little girl's all grown up and being an evil king. Why are you looking at that way at me, coach? Didn't I tell you? Stop kidding around, a klutz like you, an evil king. I'm not kidding you. I was really in trouble with that much magical power. But thanks to Ari, I am now a fine evil king. Aren't you proud of me, coach? Let's go on a world conquest tour together. Um, I don't think, I would normally say, great, let's go. Um, I don't think he would approve. Sorry, no can do. Why? Because I am the true evil king who's here to defeat you. But it can't be. Coach, my coach was an evil king? I can't battle with you, coach. <gasps> Where are you going? Oh, uh, but Linda, about brainwashing... <laughs> about brainwashing the town folk. Ah, oh, now she's run off. If she's an evil king, it's not hard to figure out where she's headed. If the chairman guy went to the escapeless abyss, and that muscle freak went to the big tree hole in Tennel Forest, then as long as she was a pseudo-evil king, her destination should be clear... Clear on the map, oh, evil kings. So, off we go to defeat her. Hey, slave, what's the matter? Well, of course you're in shock. The girl you thought was cute was actually an evil king. Why didn't the horns trip me off? <laughs> tip me off. If you defeat her, it'll be for her own good, too. Isn't that right, Bull? Sure, sis. Sure, sis. I don't even, I don't even know your voice anymore. But anyway, uh, isn't Linda so, so hot? Oh my gosh. Well, being an evil king can be said to be a condition in which one is unconsciously possessed and metaphysically restrained by delusion. Destroying its framework can be said, oh, where's your Germanness? To be a sublime act to doubly liberate the subject from alienation, thus. Yes, let's go, okay? <laughs> She's like, I've heard enough of you, old man. I've heard enough of your nonsense. Well, let's go find her. And in the meantime, we also need to go and get the last ciphertext thing. Oh my good. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter who I am right now. We'll go to post post or po post or whatever it's called, Snowfield, in a little bit. But right now, we will just be going across into the universe. Yes. <laughs> Okay, off we go into the land. So, oh, well that was a bit rude. <laughs> Don't you think? Never mind. I'll catch up with you guys once I get back to the lady. Okay, I will see you then. There we go. So this is the latest cryptogram or whatever it's called. Man from World Crypto Organization says, "Freeze! Don't move!" Don't turn around, I'm from the World Crypto Organization, so if you've made it this far, well, 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 you must be a cipher extraordinaire. The next cipher text is X. Boom. Station. Boom. Goodbye. Oh, yay. That's cipher text 4. That's seriously what, like, all of them are. I can show them to you. It's so ridiculous. Like, you would never guess what they are in a million years. I only vaguely knew what they were because I've played the game before. So, cipher text 1. So whatever, it's Pig Latin, which is what our sister has. Well, is, or had, I guess, because then she got a pink shadow instead. So the circus is here. Let's go to the grounds. And you had to talk to the guy there. Then you go and it's like, mm, hmm, what should I do with this? Uh, Ciphertext 2. Five, own ha. One, knock the side of the anyway you have to put them all in order not the side of the like it's like the time machines no in the city of machines or whatever is what it is 
And so I just looked at the sides of buildings until I found the right one that had an exclamation point. And then you just saw this one, which was the late latest. Ciphertext Fort, you're supposed to talk to the guy in between this station. Oh. There we go. Hmm. It seems like this is where Linda ran to. By the way, sister, what happened to boss? The princess is taking a nap. She is sulky because of you not who. Me! She loves me. It means I can be the absolute ruler. <laughs> Let's go, slaves. Gotcha, brother. Uh, I don't even want to start. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I love Big Bull's enthusiasm. He's just like, let's do this thing. Were we going to save? No? That's cool. That's just fine. Um... Well, okay. I don't really remember this one. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What's this? Bridges. Oh no. Oh no. Well, hopefully it just appears and doesn't make me do anything else beyond that. And what do we need to do with that guy thing? What are you doing? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm very busy. Oh, and if I touch it, it goes away. Kind of. But I need to save. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kind of scared me for a minute. If I remember correctly, I like never use Kissling ever again. So hopefully that is not fully the case here. Because I would love it if we could just all be friends and, you know, be cool like that. Oh, so I can open both of them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go through this one first. Oh, because it's treasure. I love treasure. It's a sleeping bottle. I guess that's useful in some ways. Okay, whatever. I need to level anyway. There's a lot of fish happening in here. Shoot, I should have Kissling. Well, we'll see how he does. All right, here's the first one. Let's see how it goes. Minty alligator? <laughs> Look at how very acrobatic they are. They might die, so we're gonna Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Well. Alright, so we defeated the dungeon. There were a bunch of bridges we had to summon with little green things and whatnot. And uh, we got some charms, but nothing too crazy other than that. So we're going into the abyss to face Linda, who claims to love us so dearly. Alright, what's up, girl? Oh, are you kidding me? There's another level? Hmm, seems to be we're finally here. All set, Ari? Are you ready both in body and mind? Yeah, why not? Now let's be off. Sounds fair. Linda! Why are you in weird frame like that? You make me nervous. Oh, she's so excited. Oh, coach, you followed Linda all the way here? How romantic. Linda, I don't want to fight you, but there's no other way. Without defeating you, we cannot deprogram the brainwashed townspeople. Stand ready. C coach? You are an evil king, aren't you? Evil kings should take whatever they want through force. Take away the rights of the world conquest from me, if you can. Then I'll recognize you. Coach, I got it. This is the initiation of that disciple and master you have to go through. Here I come, I Linda will transcend you, master. <laughs> She's an idiot. I think something is wrong. Come to me, teen idol evil king. She's an idiot, but it's okay. She's a very sweet, crazy person who thinks that we are like her soulmate of some kind. And we are not. We are in this for world domination and nothing else. Okay. Um, I don't really know how to defeat you. Uh, well, 
I will take out the minions, I guess. What are what 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 are you? Uh, ooh, good because that means Rosalind can do ice attack on you. And this was probably a terrible decision to bring Bo Big Bull here, though, because he's going to be destroyed. But we will attack. You want to attack a bear? No, we're going to attack Linda. Destroy them. No. Virus. Oh, that's going to be bad. Yes! Okay. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what this virus thing does. It says it's level 3, which I'm sure is terrible, but I don't... I don't really know what that is. Is it like poison? I just... I just don't know. Don't cast it on Ari. Now I'm upset with you. Linda, we were supposed to be friends. We were supposed to be a mentor and things. You just ruined it. You ruined everything. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Okay, now it's time for the healing to happen. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. <laughs> now I'm kind of sorry I wasted a nut on her. What are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do? Probably nothing. What'd you give me, girl? Levels! <gasps> we can bring back the dead! That is impressive! Naturally, naturally leveling up my Rosaline, my Rosalindo, but she didn't learn anything, which is kind of upsetting. Of course Big Bull's gonna level up, and I'm so proud of how he survived. We didn't die once fighting her, but of course we died fighting like an urn earlier, so go figure. Oh, she's like posed like a roommate. I lost, but no hard feelings. My dream of having a concert in the legendary stadium at the back of the sewer is gone though. It's okay. Linda is sad, but easily distracted. <laughs> a legendary stadium? Why does every evil king say completely different things? Hmm. Since I lost, I'll give this to you. I've held on to this for a long time, believing it's the key to the legendary stadium. But I don't need it anymore. Uh, um, hmm. I see. I, I don't know what this is, though. I required long screw. Oh, jeez. From Linda. That's so awkward. Oh, what's that? What was that? What's that flashing? Slave, it's from your pack. Check it out. What have I made with all of my little collected parts? Everyone, thank you for your work. Oh, princess. I probably should have tried to talk to the princess again, but that's okay. You, Linda. I... I quit using Ari as my servant. What? Princess? I cannot say why, but I have decided to do so. Fine, that means we are equal opponents. But I won't lose. <laughs> I won't lose either. <laughs> Princess, which part of him do you like best? Um, well, it's... Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> I, am um, like his eyes. They're huge and pretty and yellow. What? Huh? Linda... He doesn't have yellow eyes. Oh my gosh, she likes Stan. Sure he does, it's the main body, you know. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Miss Linda, may I ask you one thing? What exactly is the main body in your mind? What? But what? But Ari's main body is his gorgeous shadow, isn't it? It has a weird doll attached to it, but it's just camouflage, you know. Incognito. <laughs> Sometimes it talks, but it has a totally dorky voice. That is a letdown. I see. Ah, uh, Miss Linda, I guess you see it that way because you are from the Devildom. Let me tell you, Linda. My name is Stan. It's unforgivable to mistake my name. Stan? Oh, that's a kicking name. Coach? No, Stan. I won't leave you anymore. Huh? Um, well, I guess... It's okay. <laughs> his, his expression was so dramatized. Formal Evil King Linda has become a friend. Yay! Well, I guess now I have more power. Now it's time to resolve this issue. I know, Mr. Stan, you're talking about the sewer. That evil kings are heading to the back. What? We already checked the sewer in Madrid when we first defeated the sewer evil king. Come on, there must be a secret back in field in there. We will check more carefully this time. 
Now off again to the underground of Madrid. By the way, Stan, I totally think you should do something about that weird doll. <laughs> Rude. Um, well. <laughs> Sorry, Ari. <laughs> that is so mean. The pure broken heart of a boy. Alas, the light and shadow of youth. Thanks, Kissling. You got my back. What's wrong, guys? Is it a fight or a fight? Ari, I'm going back. Ugh, it's so silly. Let me get back to the hotel, make a cup of tea, massage my back, and polish my shoes. You'll be my servant for the rest of your life till your death. And former teen idol Rude. Teen Linda joined the party. And the boy somehow would find himself being pushed around. As always. Even more by Princess Marlene. Now that he had competition for like 30 seconds. Great. Well, I guess next time we'll go to the sewer. I think that's actually, even though it sounds short, I think that's actually like a long shindigyo. So I will see you guys on the next episode. Stay sweet. Please do comment and like so I know if you like the series, what's your favorite part, etc. And I'll see you next time. Oh, also, Ari versus Stan. Who's cuter? Let me know.